We are back again with a brand new My Gym episode featuring the Boston Celtics and as you can see we have managed to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals and after simulating the first couple of games we are now sitting on a 3-1 lead against the Chicago Bulls and now it is time to get one more win and advance to the NBA Finals. Alright this is a biggie here folks, Game 5 coming up here on 2K Sports in the conference finals. Welcome everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson and that big old guy over there is Shaquille O'Neal. And the home floor for the series tonight will be in Boston as the Celtics will be playing against the Chicago Bulls. For Chicago, they suffered a disappointing home loss in game four. Now they look to win it back here on the road and we'll see if they can turn it around. Thank you, Shaq and Ernie. And as we're going up against the Chicago Bulls in tonight's Game 5 of these Eastern Conference Finals, of course, there's one thing that I noticed right from the start. Where is Pau Gasol? It looks like he injured himself in this series. So now we got ourselves that matchup. Jared Sullinger going up against Taj Gibson right there. And it starts off with a flop. Not the best look for the Chicago Bulls. But as we are back on offense, we got Marcus Smart and another flop. My goodness, what is going on with these Chicago Bulls? I thought they were going to play some physical defense. But let's talk about the game plan of tonight's video. And that is certainly that we need to stop D. Rose and Mr. Jimmy Butler. I think the main part of their offense is going to run through those two guys. And if we can stop them, well, we should be cruising tonight. And when it comes to our own offense, well, we're going to start off attacking the paint. And if that is not working, we are going to fall back on our three-point shot. But for now, it is all about defense. And so far, we are certainly doing a tremendous job in getting those defensive stops. And with Clay Thompson knocking out that three-point shot, we are certainly off to a great start. Currently sitting on a three-point lead as we are now in the second quarter of this game. We got Marcus Smart getting it to Avery Bradley right there. He gets that beautiful mid-range jump to go. He did get that lucky roll, but at the end of the day, the basketball found the bottom of the net. And that is all I can ask for at this point in time. With Giannis Antetokounmpo getting that three-point shot to go, I am excited to see that he is still on fire ever since these NBA playoffs have started. He has been the spark coming off the bench that we so desperately need. But right there! Oh my goodness! What just happened? Look at that! Jeez! That alley-oop is not supposed to happen right there. That is some cheese. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect to see a bullet pass like that. That was just crazy. But yeah, let's let's forget about that one. And let's focus on this gameplay again. We don't want to see some glitchy alley-oops be the reason why we are walking away with the win tonight. So let's play some great fundamental basketball. And you already know that always starts with defense. And with Aaron Gordon grabbing that rebound, we are back on the attack. And that alley-oop, it was meant to be for Aaron Gordon. I was trying to reward him for making a great play on defense. And of course, by that, I mean for getting the rebound and taking the basketball up the court. But yeah, I think my alley-oops in tonight's game are simply not on point. Hopefully, we can change that as we are now getting a not the defensive stop. And this time, there we go! This time, we find Aaron Gordon right there. Finally, we get to reward the bigs when they are making big plays in these games. So, as we are now in the second half of this game, we are currently sitting on a two-point lead. And with Marcus Smart, look, we got Joakim Noah dropping to the ground. And that leaves a wide open lane for Mr. Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond, he has certainly been playing big in tonight's game. And that is exactly what we need. Especially when we are going up against the bigs of the Chicago Bulls. But my goodness, Marcus Smart is definitely making D-Rose's life very very tough tonight that is for sure we are getting so many defensive stops look at us getting another steal right there even our bigs are intercepting passes and as we are back to running that fast break oh i wish i would have thrown an alley -oop pass right there and my goodness yeah i think andre drummond he wanted to play a little hero ball right there because i noticed that clay thompson he was wide open when andre drummond decided to drive to the basket right there 
but as we get another rebound, we are back on offense once again. And with Avery Bradley getting picked up on defense by Aaron Aflalo, we got Giannis taking it straight to the rack. And yes, I decided to make my starting lineup a little bit bigger going up against these Chicago Bulls. I decided to take Avery Bradley out. Switch him up with Clay Thompson and let Giannis Antetokounmpo run at the small forward spot. And so far, this lineup change has certainly worked out for us. We are pretty much getting every single rebound at this point in time. And our height advantage, it is certainly helping out on offense as well. Case in point, Mr. Jared Salinger right there going up against Taj Gibson with that beautiful fadeaway shot coming out of the post. So, talking about the post as we are back with Andre Drummond going up against Noah. Look at Noah. He is falling to the ground once again, leaving Andre Drummond wide open. And that beautiful little reverse dunk, that was just gorgeous. So, as we are now sitting on an 11-point lead, I think it is fair to say that at this point in time, we would have to make... Well, that is definitely not a mistake. So, yeah, we would have to make a lot of mistakes to walk away with the loss. But as of now, we are just dominating. We are grabbing those rebounds. We are just getting so many defensive stops. And look at us. Oh, my goodness. This play is pretty much a perfect indication of what I was talking about. We were playing big. And Joakim Noah and Tosh Gibson, they simply had no shot in grabbing those rebounds. So, with around one minute left in the fourth quarter of this game, we got Marcus Smart pretty much throwing down the dagger of tonight's game in the form of a huge two-handed slam dunk. And with Dirk, nope, that's not Dirk, but he looks like Dirk missing that little fadeaway shot. We got the shot clock winding down. And with Andre Drummond not getting that full court shot to go, we are walking away with a huge win against the Chicago Bulls. And we are going to advance to the NBA Finals. And now we just have to see who we are going to go up against. Will it be the San Antonio Spurs or the Houston Rockets? But on that note, that is it for me and for tonight's episode. Stay classy, folks. Cheers. Nike.